Now that you have a video produced, you want to post it in Blackboard for your students. So, first you need to go into Blackboard. And I already have my browser open. And I conveniently logged into Blackboard. That's something you might want to do when you're making recordings, is kind of have things set up so they don't take uh, quite as long to accomplish. And um, I'll just put this in my uh, BACS 300 um, course. And so I'll click on it to open it. <clears throat> and I store all of my Blackboard uh, videos, my class videos, in a section called class videos. You can create your own uh, content areas. Just click on the plus key, create content area, give it a name, uh, temp area, and I'll make it available to area, make it available to users, and submit. And notice if I scroll down my page, I see temp area and this link has no content. I could click on it and add some content. But uh, I'm going to go back. So that's your breadcrumbs that tells you where you are and how you got there. So I'll go back here and I'm going to just scroll down to my temp area and now you can rearrange these. I can move this up Also, you heard that telephone ring. Uh, it's good to be in a place where there are no distractions. And as soon as my phone rang, I pressed the pause button so that uh, I wouldn't have to cut a whole big portion of my recording out. So anyway, so I moved my temp area up here. And since I don't really want it, I'm going to click delete. Or if I just wanted to hide it, I could hide the link. So I deleted it. Yes, I want to remove it. Isn't that nice of them to ask you? And notice temp area is gone. So I'm going to go to class videos. And you know those notes that I created during uh, my screen capture? Okay, that's what these are. As you can see, uh, let's just pick one at random. And that is... Uh, Okay, so that's just a PDF file. I save them as PDF files. Uh, if you don't have Adobe Acrobat Pro on your machine, uh, you should get it on your machine. Um, just call IT and ask them, and they will put it on your machine. Okay, so notice, so I have all those notes. And actually, the way I do that, just so you know, I'm going to click on that down arrow and edit. And... When I have multiple links I want to use, I put it right in the text area. So I can go down here, press the Enter key, and see this little attach a file. A little piece of paper with a paper clip. I guess there's a piece of paper attached to it. Attach a file, and then you get the browse window. Click browse. I'm going to go to my desktop and then I can attach uh, whatever file I want. Okay. I'm not going to do that, so I'll cancel. And then when you're done, um, I always like to track the number of views, so I click that. And then I click Submit, but since I have nothing to submit, I'll click Cancel. Okay. Now if we scroll down a little further, you can see all of my videos. Uh, I make a couple of comments sometimes if I mess up a video or something or I make some changes afterwards I might add something uh, maybe I messed up an explanation or something like that so anyway we're going to go up here and we're going to create a new item so click on create item and uh, I'm going to call this one Camtasia 7 7 Screen capture part one or whatever I want to call it. Okay, so I'll give it a name. I'm going to scroll down 
Hang on, I like to do this first so that I don't forget. First I add, click yes to track number of views. Now here is one of the two most important parts. Under special action, notice how I use my cursor to point your attention to it. I do not want to create a link to this file. I want to display media file within the page. Now it is very important that each video goes in a separate item that you create. Do not use the text window to add a whole bunch of video files because they will um, it, it will create those as an external link and it will download the file to the student's computer and at 40, 50, 100 megs uh, especially if you have videos in there, it could be over 100 megs. That's an awful lot to download. So you do not want to do that. So we created a new item, special action display media file within the page, attach the file. Now this will take some time to execute because these are big files. So I am going to find the file. So I'm going to Notice when I go in between the name and the size, I get that little, I don't know, separator thing. So I can see what I have. So I want this screen capture part one. So I will, I can click it and do open or double click. And then, so now, okay, screen capture part one. I make sure everything is okay. I can add some explan explanation about the video in here. Uh, here is an explanation. Okay, so now scroll down to the bottom of the page, click submit. Now this will take some time. So then, because it has to upload that entire video. So since this is taking a long time, I'm going to pause great opportunity to use the pause button and then come back when it's finished. Okay, now the file has finished uploading, so let's go play it. Now, if you want to change where that file is, I can drag it. Here, I'll just drag it all the way up to the top. Okay, there's an awful lot of videos there. So there. Now, notice it's 22 megs, so I can click on it. Um, that's just a message I get about quick time. It doesn't affect anything. Okay, I'm going to show you how to create a class video. Now this one is captured in full screen 1280 by 800. So this is actually too big. So I will show you one that's a better size. So I'm going to use my back button to quit that video. Okay. So I just wanted to show you the upload process. Now I'm actually going to delete this because I don't need that. So I'll just show you one of my class videos. I'll just run at random. Ah, 39 megs, it'll take less time to load. Actually, technically this doesn't stream. It's called what you call a progressive download. So now I'll just turn the volume down. And you can see this is playing at 850 uh, by 430, uh, I'm sorry, 830 by 531. And so I'm just going to not auto hide my taskbar because that's been kind of annoying here. Let's see. Let's go to view. I'm going to go to full screen. There we go. So now I can see you can see the controls so I can click play and I can control the volume
Now you'll notice it takes a while to load. You don't see very much of the video loaded. So um, if you want to fast forward uh, in the video, um, it will take you, especially when you have a 75 minute class, it'll take, uh, that you record it, it'll take about 5 or 10 minutes to actually get control of that. So I don't have, let's see. Nope, we can't move that fast yet. So anyway, that wraps it up. And uh, hopefully it's, uh, you know how this works. And if you have any questions, just please let me know.